Okay, so we had this really long period of time where you know you were you were in doing all the research and then organizing all the research and then kind of writing on your own and then you you know roped me in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I went willingly. <laughs> um, you got me excited about your project too, so we joined up and so we had this long period of writing together. And then I said, Mike, you're ready for this for this book baby to go into editing and publishing totally different experience for folks who are maybe still writing their their book and they're curious about like what is it what does it look like to transition to working with like a team or editors or publishers like what was that transition like as the as you were approaching an actual publication date well that's a that's a great question morgan because uh the the short answer is it's not only a mental experience, it's an emotional experience. I think it was probably Faulkner who said, you have to kill your babies, right? Mm -hmm. So here's this thing you love, uh, this book you're writing, but you're are you in love with the process or are you in love with the idea of a finished book? Morgan said, we have to put a bow on this thing. I did. We have to, <laughs> have to, ship we have to get this book out to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. But she, with her wisdom and experience, she knew that I want to be author, wasn't going to let go of it easily. So she started early, much earlier than for which I was ready. And then I warmed up to the idea. And of, of course, you know, if you're, for those of you who are authors and uh, as, as Morgan is, and uh, I just am, uh, and want to be authors and maybe haven't even thought about writing a book, but have it as a dream or a wish. Of course, you'd like to see your name on a book on the shelf or on the coffee table. And the only way you can get, get there is by publishing the book. <laughs> and Morgan has a team at Paper Raven that's just marvelous. She has assigned 10 uh, top people to my team. And they they are the ones, Morgan uh, and they are the ones who know all about editing and publishing and these things. And my job has been to get the ideas down in a in a clear way. And uh, and her team, her team's job is to uh, make it presentable. So now we're in launch week. Your book is launching. We wrapped it up in a bow. We put it out to the world. Your name's on the spine. You have a hardcover probably even in your house somewhere. What has this week looked like and felt like for you during your book launch? The anticipation is one thing. And, and the, the only way to, to properly prepare yourself for, the, for what the launch is going to be, and you can't prepare yourself, is to convince yourself that you've written a book that's that gets your message out there in the best possible way that's 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 all the writer's job is you're looking at your book on amazon there on amazon is my book and my name and that takes a while to process and it's all these interesting um twists and turns with gravity doing its work you know it has a life of its own and you don't know what's around each corner every morning and every afternoon but it's always good because uh, the momentum's building and that's exactly what we're seeing you know even from our end like your book is already climbing the charts in both counseling and psychology and business and money you're you know hitting number ones in uh, organizational psychology, project management, business mentoring and coaching, right? So we're starting to see all those signs that it's beginning to pick up momentum. And like, that's that's when you start to be able to say, whew, okay, people are getting the book, they're reading it, I'm, I'm, feel, I'm getting feedback from some of my book launch team, starting to see the reviews pop in, we're getting the number ones, okay, these are good signs. And I've been seeing you, Mike, out on interviews. This is not your first interview this week. <laughs> and so you are really stepping out into a new kind of uncomfortable territory as an author, but, but you're owning it. You know, the message used to just be this abstract set of concepts that you enjoyed talking about. Well, now it's a book and you can hand it to somebody. They can order it and get it shipped to their house. You know, they can put it, pull up the book right on their e-reader tablet. And it's, a, it's now a thing that you talk about that has real concrete substance to it. And so now it's this thing that you're sharing with someone else, not just thinking about and talking about and daydreaming about, but no, this is actually a, a concept, a message, 
that's creating conversations. And that's really exciting to see.